Hello party people, it is Will Pemble, and today what we are going to do is work with PVC and we're going to make ourselves a length of track. The trick that we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to make curved track, but we're going to try to curve the track before we install it so that we're not bending the PVC around existing structures. We're going to bend the PVC before we install it so that when it is installed, it's not under any stress or load. The only stress or load that will end up on the track will be from the cart and uh, the cart rolling around the track. So that's the goal today is to create a 20 foot length of bendy track. The great thing about PVC is that it's, it's pretty bendy. This is a 10 foot length of PVC. And as you can see, I can bend it, I can bend it to form a turn and that's if you remember back from the other uh, track that we built that's kind of how we did it I built the I built the uprights I put the ties on the thing I secured all those down and then I went through this process of clamping the track to the ties and then when it ended up installed it was bent but it was bent under load so the PVC was always pulling on the strings it was always pulling on the other parts of the track and the whole thing was always under tension so the trick today is going to be how to bend this PVC in a way that it's already bent into the shape that we want it so that when we install it on the uprights in the yard, it's not under any stressor. There isn't any, there isn't any load that the track is under when the track is not being used. It's at rest. So that's what we're going to do. And the way we're going to do it is with heat. And you're going to love this part. Remember the sand we got at the store the other day and I told you what we were going to do with that? Well, this is what we're going to do with that. Watch. You know what sand is really good at doing? Sand is really good at holding heat. Now, let's go get some heat in this sand. Okay. Like I said, sand is really good at holding on to heat. Ovens are really good at putting heat into things that things can hold on to. So what we're gonna do is my 550 degree oven, that's where the sand is gonna go for as long as it takes for this sand to get to 550 degrees. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we've still got work to do outside. So we'll let our sand bake here in the oven and get back to work. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna draw a, uh, an, an eight foot outside radius arc and that's going to be the outside radius of our turn so we're going to do that right now this is one of the very first ties from the very first coaster that came from the house it's in the garage along with a lot of other stuff that probably shouldn't be Eight foot radius turn. That's it. So now all we gotta do is figure out a way to bend the PVC around that, which is our next step. So what we've got here is I've got a, a big old piece of angle iron, which you may remember from videos in the past, and we've leaned the angle iron up on the wall, and now I've got my PVC in here, and we're gonna pour the sand inside the pipe, and then we're going to fill each of these two pieces of PVC with pipe and then we're going to lay them down on the lines and maybe even if we need to we'll, we'll take clamps and hold them together with the clamps so that everything is equidistant. So we're going to try to make one 10 foot length of pipe turning this way and then another length of pipe turning that way. So now what we got to do is we got to go get the sand out of the oven and start uh, playing with really hot silicone. Okay, let's see how our sand uh, let's see how our sand is going. We've been going for about an hour and a half at 500 degrees, and so I'm going to turn this off. And then safety. Wow, it's like smoke coming off here. <laughs> I'm hoping that's just oil, we'll find out. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour the sand in here and see what happens. Sand is coming out the 
So it's making it pretty bendy, but not as bendy as I'd hoped. Okay, so a whole lot of things didn't go uh, to plan, which is, which, you know, we've been here before, it's okay. So this was our first, this was our first rail and it went pretty good. The sand went in really hot, it got a little bit out of hand, it spilled around the edges, it wasn't perfect. Um, but we got the form of the pipe to go pretty well. The second one I did with the same sand, it was a little bit cooler, I didn't quite have enough of it. And you can see I sort of ran out of sand right about here. And then I tried to bend it around the first one, which didn't work exactly as well as I had hoped either. And so, is this better than it would have been if we'd have just started with straight pipes and tried to, you know, force it to fit the track? Yeah. Is it exactly perfect the way I would want and the way my friend Paul in Seattle would want? Oh, heck no. Now, so what I'm going to do is, this is kind of all we have time for today. What we're going to do next time is I'm going to build forms so that we can fill the pipe all the way up with huge hot sand and then put it into the form and it's gonna sit and be just exactly perfect. I may even go so far as to purchase a funnel so that I can get all the sand inside the pipe. But that's all we got time for today. Thank you for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I am Will Pimble. I will see you soon.